a lot of great content questions to, to get Thank into you. about your work. Oh. So I'm going to go material okay. question. Oh, great. Um, I'm curious about your use of resin. Oh, okay. I think it's fascinating where it's being used. Sometimes I come under, sometimes over, sometimes right. not at all. Yeah. Is there any thoughts well, that you have on that, or is that just a part of the, the spontaneous act of kind of getting it to that point where you feel like it's finished? Yeah, but I don't know. I think I, I use the, I, I, I'm, I'm hesitant about the resin because of reflectiveness, uh, especially if it's going to someone's home or something, they don't want that. But uh, as far as like for an exhibition like this, I, I, since I did plan where things were going to go, <clears throat> I feel like the resin creates movement uh, within the space uh, that I felt uh, maybe it needed at certain points. Like these two large paintings, I always plan to put two large right there. And I feel like when you're walking towards them, you kind of, you're appreciating the painting, but you're also kind of, it's, you're seeing a reflection of yourself almost, you know what I mean? Right. Um, within the painting, so it's kind of involving you somehow. And then when you walk away, uh, your peripheral vision or you're walking away, it, it, it kind of shows the rest of the show somehow. So it creates like this magic for me, like this uh, movement. So, I, you know, I'm, I figure, you know, which one's needed and which one's not when, you know, depending. That's, that's really interesting because I hadn't yeah. considered how that moves you through the space. And obviously there's yeah. a lot of movement in the space from just like the portals, like you're saying. Right. The way that, that kind of creates a line across the gallery yeah. moves you through. But that... I, now I'm going to be paying more attention to that as I, as I go through that. Well, again. if you think about when you're moving through, you'll, the light will hit it in different ways as you walk. So it, it, it creates movement whether, you think so, whether you're, you're paying attention or not. Right. And I, I think that's really interesting. Yeah. I don't know. It's interesting to me. That was great. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Better than mine. <laughs> I should learn how to do it. You should, you should style it for me. I'll try. Make a try. All right, so talk to me. Tell me what you love the most about doing the show. Well, thank you, everybody. I want to say real quick, thank you for coming to the show. It's rainy and crazy out, and um, I'm happy everyone's here. I uh, worked really hard uh, to fill up this gorgeous space. Thanks to Jill, for Ella, Brittany, and the whole crew over here. Very nice. Um, it's been a great experience, and I'm happy to be here. We're happy you're here, too, because if it wasn't for you, we wouldn't be looking like this right now. Yeah. So we did a great job. Yeah. This has been a labor of love, I think, kind of for both of us. Absolutely. You made it, it's been a year in the works. It's been a year in the works. Um, and when we say a year, it's uh, a lot of people think it's like, this is it. This is the only thing I've been working on for a year. It is. It has been. <laughs> but uh, I've also, like, uh, this is this is what I do for a living. So I've had different shows throughout the year. I've been working and traveling and doing stuff. So, um, but this has been like my baby for the whole year. Um, I've also included a lot of a lot of the sculptures I've shown individually in in different uh, galleries and exhibit places. Um, but it's awesome to see them all kind of come together in one space and tell a story it's always amazing to me that 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 worked out that way you know? yeah well I know one of the things that when you and I were talking about this and putting it together that you spoke about you know you didn't want a lot of labels on the work you didn't want people to like only have your interpretation or your title yeah so tell us a little bit more about your thought process and this and what it sort of means to you the show yeah um yeah, I didn't want. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't, I didn't want to like. Uh, you know, for me as an artist and as 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 someone who loves art, uh, I like to go to exhibits and like um, look at the work and soak it in and interpret it in my own way. Um, I, I appreciate the artist and what they're trying to say, and and I and maybe like the, the titles give me a hint of what he or she is trying to you know accomplish with the with the pieces um but ultimately i like i like to interpret them on my own you know and find meaning to the pieces of my of uh, myself so so when i do shows like this i i try to do that as well like no labels maybe just you know hints and 
of you know maybe what I could be thinking or what I could not be thinking and, and but, but they're and, all and somewhat very, they're all very personal they're, they're all very personal. there's yeah every single piece has something personal to me uh, an attachment somehow uh, I think that all maybe I'm not sure if all artists but I would I, I'm guessing like that all artists have the same thing they, they have something personal that is in them I mean we're making it you know what I mean so it's coming out of you but but the actual the, the actual pieces some of them have like you know you know deep meaning to me yeah, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. anyone <laughs> I'm forcing him to tell you the story well the show the the show in general is uh, is about uh, you know like uh, my life, kind of, you know, immigration. My family I immigrated here from from Cuba. I was born in Puerto Rico, but you know, we immigrated here and we started a new life. Um, uh, I was fortunate enough to be really little when this happened, so like I I I, I saw the struggles that they went through, but you know, I I um, I didn't as much as they did. So so it's my interpretation of maybe you know what they came you know what they felt when they came um, example you know I, I use like the I use a lot of boats and this large black you know intimidating house that you know maybe it was was something that that you know that symbolizes you know like the place that they came to they were a little intimidated by it um, you know the choices that that they made or that that they were forced to be that that they, that, that they had to make or or, you know they, they struggle with with you know trying to improve their lives with you know either coming from nothing or coming from something and you yeah. know and that kind of thing you know yeah, it's, really, it's really beautiful um yeah. i don't want to take up the whole floor because this is really ask the artist so i would encourage anybody to please come on up yeah, and come ask on. some questions, Any questions anything uh, yeah, what's tell his me. favorite ice cream i already yeah. know <laughs> he doesn't like ice cream he likes chocolate cake chocolate cake uh, i like chocolate I like without chocolate the frosting cake. so we learned a lot while during the install so please come on up and um it went well for a while but then it failed and like a lot of businesses and uh, when she closed it down, I asked her to give me some of her chairs. And I thought it would be very symbolic for me to break them apart, to symbolize how she struggled and how things fell apart, but how we could rebuild. Um, so that's what that, but these here, um, they, they, they're, uh, uh, I guess what I was trying to say with these is that you know, there's, 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 we see two different ways of life in, in, in this world. And, um, you know, there's a struggle and there's, there's, uh, there's not a struggle. And, uh, and, and it depends on your way of life, on how you go, um, uh, which way, which way life is going to take you, basically. Does that, does that make sense? Hi. <laughs> so, um, okay. out of all these beautiful pieces here, what was your favorite to create? Oh, my favorite. Wow, that's a good question. Thank Lola. You. Damn. You put me on the spot. You gotta do it. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I mean, um, the native was, was, was fun to create. I created him a long time ago, and he's followed me around for many years. Um, the piece on the floor here means a lot to me because it, it's attached to my sister, like I just said. And there's a piece all the way at the end that finishes the the show, Grace, that hangs in our home. Yes. That uh, that's uh, that's really meaningful to me. Awesome. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> so yeah, I just wanted to start off by um, acknowledging a comment you made about how you appreciate how the viewer is reacting to the pieces and right. you kind of let us experience it in our own way yeah so me and my wife we were discussing about the layout mm -hmm. and we were wondering about the the black spot right in the back and then and back the here as well. at the end so we're thinking okay maybe this is a portal that's taking us to a different uh, section of the exhibition mm -hmm. so we thought that maybe you had a connection with the pieces back here. You mm -hmm. just talked about Grace, so right. we're wondering if what, we're kind of close to that. Connection? Yeah, actually, <laughs> that's great. Yeah, that's what I, I meant. Uh, so 
for me, uh, personally, for me, the 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 portal over here is the beginning of the exhibition. That's where you come in, and that's where the story or the narrative begins. And then you go through this way, and you go through all this, and then you you end up in the back with Grace, and then you go back into the portal, and maybe spits you out back over here again. Um, the point for me with the 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 going through the paintings and the abstracts where the abstracts were meant to be emotions, just pure emotions, pure emotions. They're, they're named after um, uh, weather patterns because I think weather and emotions have, are like, you know, right there. So uh, the further you go into the paintings, um, there's, there's a wall here with small paintings. Mm -hmm. And um, I start making them form maybe human-ish figures. And, and it ends with Grace, which, which is a human figure. And uh, I guess what I'm trying to explain is that the, the, that the emotions and the weather patterns and the way this is making you feel is all inside. It, it's all internal. It's all inside of us. I mean, the, the, the abstracts are abstracts. Uh, but eventually the abstracts come from somewhere and it comes from inside. So I wanted to end it with Grace because she's kind of like looking up and, you know, and she's showing you that it's all inside and then going back in and then starting again, if that makes sense. But well, you guys got it. it you does, got it. it you got it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so That's much. That's fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. The question was, other than this museum, what was your favorite project? That you've created or want to create? Okay, well, that's good. That's a good question. <laughs> Damn, we didn't prep at all. We didn't prep again. <laughs> well, one of my favorite projects that I've done in the past was uh, I've been to, um, I did it in New York and I did it here and I did it in Puerto Rico. And uh, I was telling someone about it. Um, I created, uh, I went to, for example, in Puerto Rico, I went and I spent three months. You guys, you remember? Well, you were tiny. <laughs> yeah. And um, I spent three months collecting uh, tr basically uh, trash from, like, uh, from everywhere. Mostly wood, though, but <coughs> basically trash. And I created a city. It was, and I called it the city of Babylon. And it was these big towers, or like eight foot towers. And it was like a space, half the size of this. But they were all over, and they were connected with bridges, and they had these little figures going from one to another. So I did that uh, there in Miami and in New York, and that was a really interesting project because I got to, um, not only did I get to hang out with the gallerists, because it's always fun. I had a great time last week, you know, setting up. <laughs> but, um, uh, you know, talking with the people, you know, like from where you're making the project and uh, telling them what you're doing and why you're doing it and then looking at you like you're nuts <laughs> or like, wow, that's super cool. And then them coming to the show and seeing it and walking around it. You guys saw it. Yeah. Um, so yeah, you know, besides this project, of course, <laughs> that was my favorite. Okay, very oh, cool. and, oh, and, <laughs> and uh, you said something about the future. Yes, what's your favorite project you've been thinking about I creating? want to do, and hopefully you guys will all come when I do it, I'd like to do a giant bounce house so that adults could come and have a great old time in this giant space with this beautiful bounce house that I want to create. So look forward to that in the future. <laughs> Jill's going to Jill's well, gonna facilitate. Gonna but it has to be indoors. And I want it to be enormous, like like enormous. So hopefully, yeah, yeah. It's going to be all white or all black. It depends. I don't know yet. But yeah. I have a question. So uh, first, I love your work. Thank you. And it's a strong work. Thank you. And uh, my question is, uh, what is the meaning of the black house and also the symbology of the wooden house that looks like it's sinking around gold. Yeah. So, so like I said before, the, the, the exhibition for me starts, uh, the narrative for me starts at the, at the portals, at the, at the black dots with the boats going through and, and breaking, I don't know, uh, 
barricades maybe or just you know breaking through walls of of you know tough decisions and leaving and all that stuff the black house it, to me it represents like a uh, like an intimidating uh, sculpture like you're getting to this new place and it's like this large black you know wall almost you know um, and um, the house in the in the sand uh, for me represents like the what you left behind almost the home that you left behind that was kind of sunken in you know just left and sunken into this you know the sand since we're Caribbean you know the sand the the sparkling um, again was about movement for me you know um, it could also represent like me like uh, how how meaningful the home was but for me personally it, it represented the movement so when you walked around it it kind of moved you know I don't know I'm really like into the movement of things so yes, if that I makes understand. any sense yes of course and also the the black uh, house is one of the tallest one in the in the city yeah yeah I was meant to be big and kind of you know like to me like a like a like a like impressionable like something that you you know like wow um, I also placed it I don't know if you noticed but I placed it so that on one side when you look through it you could see the portal and on the other side you could see this work over here yes so I made it so that you could see th you could see through it in the exhibition it was important to me like to see something across from it like and you travel included. you travel yeah. to the exhibit yeah yeah the traveling I thought a lot I'm, I'm a heavy <laughs> thinker <laughs> Poor family, poor family. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, but it's a wonderful exhibit, and Thank I'm you. going to take the time next week with Thank my you. students to do some projects uh, inspiring your work. Oh, that would be great. I'd love to see <laughs> what you do. I would love to see that. Yeah, yeah it's fun. How old are the students? Um, there is some that start from five to eight, then okay. we have uh, students ones. from uh, 13 <coughs> years old, 15. Oh, wow. Oh, excellent. It's different age. Oh, good. Yeah, there's a lot to look at, though. Yes. There's a lot to look at. Yes, yeah. because you have the, the mixed media, you have uh, the uh, sculptors. Uh, yeah, the installation, painting. there's painting, the sculptures. Yeah. If, you, if you need anything, you could always, uh, you know, like email me or text me. I'll, okay. I'll be more than happy to answer more Thank questions. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.